Now I'm going to be performing two works by uh, Irving Berlin. Uh, the first piece, What Can I Say? 1938, uh, Kate Smith was looking for a song to sing on her radio hour, a song to inspire and, and rally the nation due to the impending war in Europe. And she asked Irving Berlin if he could come up with something, and he couldn't come up with anything. So, uh, you know, Irving Berlin remembered that 20 years before that, when he was stationed in the Army in Long Island, New York, he had written a song for a show, and the song was rejected by the producers as being just too over-the-top patriotic. Well, he found the song, he gave it to Kate Smith, she sang it on the radio, uh, it electrified the nation, the rest is history, it's become like a second national anthem. Of course we're talking about God bless America, the lyrics of which are actually inscribed in the congressional record. And you'll notice on the video that, that you're going to see on the playing the guitar, the, uh, you'll see little pictures of various uh, Americans throughout history, uh, none of whom are with us today. Uh, and you, this makes for, uh, I think, a video that you will, you will enjoy. And the second piece I'm going to uh, uh, perform for you is a piece written, once again, by Irving Berlin, Alexander's Ragtime Band. I'm going to be singing this live with the Maestro Girard singer, so you can actually see for the first time tonight. I know, don't get too excited here. But you'll be seeing them and, and performing. And, uh, Alexander's Ragtime Band was actually uh, the first piece, the piece that launched uh, Irving Berlin's career. Interestingly enough, it's not a march at all. It's not a rag at all, but actually a march. But it helped to revive the ragtime fervor uh, created by Scott Joplin 10 years before uh, it was written. And it actually, believe it or not, had 12 hit versions by various leading artists of the time. So first, God bless America, then Alexander's ragtime band. Second World War is over. The Japanese have surrendered unconditionally. Aggressive action by our armed forces has already been ordered stopped, and the same order has been issued to the Japanese. Within the next two or three days, General Douglas MacArthur, acting as supreme allied commander in the Pacific, will complete the act of accepting unconditional surrender from our enemies.